how do they get away with a woman claiming that 30 years ago Trump raped her in the Bergdorf or whatever and Trump and Trump's like there's no evidence I've never met the woman I have no idea what she's talking about and they're just like hey eh, you're liable anyway so <laughs> eh, whatever it's crazy who's gonna want to live I'm sorry just I would not want to live in any of these places mm. these cities we're, oh, we're, yeah. we're really getting New York mm -hmm. is beyond the communist utopia uh, mm -hmm. co communist dystopia nonsense where quite literally a, a stranger you've never met i think trump they're they're saying that he knew e Jean carroll whatever and there's like a photo of them at a party at the same yeah. time and trump's like i i've been to a bunch of parties with a bunch yeah. of people i don't know who this person is he went to every party yeah. of the mm -hmm. socialite set and he was probably the most well-known person in most of those and multiple rooms. women right. came to take pictures with him right it was right something, yeah. so one day you're going to get sued by someone you've never heard of claiming mm. that you, I don't know, you, like in this instance for Trump, raped her or whatever, or sexually assaulted her. This woman just clearly, everybody, everybody agrees is a whack job. Yeah. It's a whack job. But this is, this is the, the current state of American politics. And it's funny because I'm like, guys, I'm going to say civil war. If there's not going <laughs> to be one, if there's not going to be one, and maybe not, it's just social collapse. And so maybe it won't ever be like mass scale fighting over control of the government mm -hmm. or anything like that. It'll just be, you know, somebody who lives in Iowa doesn't view Missouri as their neighbor anymore. Mm. I feel like part of the time the timing of the story has to do with the fact that they were at Melania's mom's funeral today. It's like there can't be any moment where the Trumps seem like a sympathetic family. Yeah. They're just going through That's something. Actually, we have to be reminded that we we being mainstream media hate him mm -hmm. at all times at all costs uh, and i find that to be really ugly i think people become disenchanted with consuming news that's basically fueled on speculation and hate if you actually look at any of the uh the websites that can show you the views of these websites that of other websites like a refs or simrush it shows that their views have went down significant it's a significant drop in cnn and all the mainstream because a lot of the viewers were stressing if you look in the comments cnn them even removed the comment section off their websites because of this it's like, why are they still talking about Trump? They mm -hmm. say, you don't even have the bad spot and we just want to know what our active president is doing. They were yeah. more concerned about Trump. I remember when he was just taking the high road and being very quiet. They were criticizing him for golfing, saying that he was no longer uh, caring about the audience. Like, bro, I thought he isn't president anymore. Well, so th th anything, this right? is the nature of the media. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is forced into an emergency bunker by far left insurrectionists and the media made fun of him and called him Bunker Boy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so when the far left interfered in the official proceedings of the United States by firebombing the White House. Mm. That's not an insurrection. But when J Sixers interfere in the electoral count, that's an insurrection. Mm. I'm like either the both insurrections or, the, or neither are insurrections. Or neither right. are, Pulling yeah. a fire alarm as well. Oh yeah, vote. dude. Fire alarm. Yeah. How that guy is not just <laughs> locked up. Well, and he has great ideas for reparations now yes. too that he was talking about today. Like yeah. he got a new promotion. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, I was, what I was just saying about social breakdown there's a big story right now where uh, Texas has begun arresting illegal immigrants. I mm. love this story. In, in defiance mm. of uh, uh, the federal government. They started arresting them today. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And uh, I'm telling you, like, cool. yeah, we, we, a grain of sand being added to the heap. Mm -hmm. At some point, the federal government either has to admit it's been defeated. Look, I'll put it this way. By Texas, mm. which is kind of perfect. Well, <laughs> that's it. The dam has broken. It, 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 the dam is broken. Okay. We, yeah. we are not necessarily looking at Fort Sumter, although I wasn't the one who made this point. I can't remember who they made this point. Mm. Um, I think it might have been like Benny Johnson. I'm not sure that. Uh, yeah, I think it was Benny. He was saying that the federal, you know, the start of the first civil war, yeah, first civil mm -hmm. war, the federal government is saying this is our territory. The South is saying, no, it's not. And there's a standoff. Nobody really dies. But we call that the start right now in Texas. The federal government is saying uh, uh, Texas is breaking the laws, breaking federal law, barring them from access to the river. And they have no authority to enforce border issues. Mm -hmm. And Texas is saying we're going to do it anyway. 